Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. So I got to walk you through this call. This was a great call. You see we had our uh, sweet spot zone marked up. This is a sweet spot trade. You know, we caught a run coming down. Actually, I caught a run coming up. Then I caught the run coming down right when we hit the sweet spot zone. Prices pulled back, regular price action. But then when I got this falling hammer, no, no, excuse me, I got this one. When I got this falling hammer strong back in, right at the golden ratio, that's where we know prices is gonna turn. And then it looked like it was going against us. And then we got another falling hammer. Don't get no better than that. Two falling hammers right at the golden ratio. That's 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 where it's at right here. <laughs> that's where it's at right here. This is my last trade of the day. This is for a profitable day. Let's count it down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Say it with me. Easy money. Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. In this video right here, I'm going to show you how to enter the market like a pro, okay? And we're gonna be using only support and resistance. No complicated indicators needed, all right? So first, let me start with a little story. It's story time. Um, if you don't know, I play high school basketball, I play college basketball. And on a basketball court, they taught us that there were several spots on the basketball court to take jump shots from, okay? One of those spots was the top of the key corners, right? So the corner of the top of the key of the free throw line. The reason is, is because it's, it's not that far away from the basket, all right? And it's just something about the angle, okay? So I can, re I can even remember when I was still in like junior high, elementary, you know, we would do drills where we run up to the free, free throw line, catch the ball, turn, shoot. You know, man, I took that jump shot so many times. You know, they have you take, you have to make 50 or something, right? Um, that, because that's a great spot on a basketball court. It's close to the rim. You can elevate, get get good shots. And so some people, if you've noticed in the NBA, have made a living from taking shots at the corner of the free throw line. Chris Paul stands out, you know what I'm saying? He gets you to that corner, bumps you off, fades, money right if you remember west russell Westbrook early in his career he become a hard speed down fast break stop pull up where free throw line extended right it's a great shot mj right the great jordan he back you down <laughs> fade away free throw line extension money right because that's a great area on a basketball court to take a shot okay another example if you're if we're talking three pointers right if we're talking three pointers the best spot on a basketball court to take a three-point shot is in the corners right why because first of all you're kind of shoot it's it's a straightaway shot first of all secondly it's the shortest distance to the basket from the three-point line right if you think about it here's the corners and then it, it flares out to round out so as you move around the curve of a basketball court of a three-point line you're getting further and further away from the basket so if you notice some people who aren't even great shooters right you hit a commentator say you know he's not a great three-point shooter but he's he's money from the corner right that's because that corner shot is the highest percentage three-point shot you can take because it's the shortest distance to the basket and then if you notice the great shooters like like steph curry Steph Curry rarely ever misses <laughs> from that corner, all right? It's an ideal spot. It's a key entry point on a basketball court to be able to have a high percentage. And, and so what I'm saying is I'm telling you all this. So, Jay, why are we talking basketball? We're talking basketball because it relates directly to trading. On a price chart, and many people don't look at a price chart like this, on a price chart, there is specific areas on that chart that is ideal for taking a trade, okay? And you typically find these areas with support resistance. You can find it with a Fibonacci tool. You know, you can find it with a 21 EMA, but the, yeah, there, yeah. there are just spots on a price chart, all right? There are specific spots on a price chart that are ideal for entering the market, all right? And we're gonna go over to some charts and we're gonna look at a few, but I just wanted to make that correlation between basketball 
because, you know, just like you take enough jump shots from that corner, after a while you're going to get a percentage, right? They're going to say, hey, he's shooting 45% from the corner. He's shooting 40% from the corner. Same thing here, you know what I'm saying? If you only take second entries off of the 21 EMA, you'll be able to look back and be like, hey, I'm shooting 60% <laughs> when I take second entries off the 21 EMA. You know, I'm shooting 70% when I when I take uh, entries off the golden ratio once I've drawn the fib and found a sweet spot. You know, you take enough shots from a specific point on the chart you'll be able to start to really look at your numbers and be like, all right, I'm shooting 50% from here. I'm shooting 60% from here. I'm shooting 70% from here. I'm only going to take these 70% setups, right? <laughs> that's, that's what you can do with this. And so this is why, again, price action is king. I ain't all that big on indicators because you can't indicators. You just go off of what they're saying. But once you learn support resistance, learn how to find support resistance, learn how to find a sweet spot with a Fibonacci tool, you know, learn how to use the 21 EMA to your benefit then you can take high probability trades off of key entry points. Okay, so that's my spiel there. I'm gonna go over to some charts. Actually, I'm just gonna go over to the chart that was in the intro today. And we're gonna look at how this one pair offered us several great trades from key entry points. All right, so let's go over to the charts. Looking for profitable trade ideas in the Forex market? Want to learn a unique strategy based on price action and Fibonacci retracement zones? Join our trading community now for just $10 a month and receive trade ideas and binary options chart markups straight to your inbox. All right, guys, so we're on the charts and we're talking key entry points. All right, so the first tool I use for key entry points actually is an indicator. I use the 21 exponential moving average. This is a great tool to use for key entry points because it's the it's the average price and many times prices will bounce off of the 21 moving average. So um, I like to use it for key entry points. Another key entry point would just be to draw a trend line. Um, but see the trend line normally is going to be moving just like the 21 EMA. For instance, if I and this was a really short trend, but just to show it real quick, if I just go from this high here, oops, catch the, uh, this is why I don't like trend lines. There, all right. This is a real short trend down, but if you put it off the, well not right here, off the first body touch, it's kind of right here, make it bigger. Okay, we're trending down, trending down, trending down. Got the trend break, retest new low. It's perfect market cycle. Um, but any any nice setup off of the trend line would have been a good entry. And there was one right here because we trended down. All right, we trended down. Let, let, let's look at it this way. Here's a high, pushed down, came up, made a lower high. Then you made a nice entry right off of here. Go right there. One, two, three. Easy win because prices hit the key entry point the key entry point would have been the ema touch or if you had drew a trend line it would have been that trend line touch so in this short little run here the key entry point to enter is um you know in this case was the ema now here's 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 the other side to that coin you want to know why you don't enter down here and this would be very tempting because look you're just trending so in your head you think it's going to continue we're too far. If you enter right here, you're too far away from the 21 EMA. This is exactly why prices pull back because prices are going to snap back to the moving average. This is exactly why prices pull back. And, you know, that would have been a, a loss, even though it was looking good. It was looking real strong. Now, if you had entered on this candle right off the 21 EMA, since the 21 EMA is a key entry point, one, two, three, that would have been a win. Now, I know I'm just. I just grabbed some random ones, but I just want to show that you don't enter when you're far away from the 21 EMA, like here, too far away here, too far away. Those are not key entry points, but you know, let me get my tool up. But if say you enter, you know, here on this big drop, 
bam, that's the key entry point. But then you can't, you really don't get another good entry off the 21 EMA. Even right here, you see this, what's happening right here? You don't enter here. We're too far away from the key entry point. But if you had entered here, boom, that was a win. If you had entered even here or here, boom, those are wins. If you had entered here or here, those are wins. See the difference? Enter here, that's a win. All of these, all of these entries <laughs> off the 21 EMA with trend, those are key entry points. And every one of those would have been wins. Every one of them. So the 21 EMA, if you're not using it, is a great indicator for, uh, let me get rid of this, for recognizing key entry points, all right? Now, if you just wanna use a trend line, oh, sorry, I gotta turn the tool off. I could put a trend line right here. And through the first body would have been something like this. You could have got two wins, boom, hit the hit the trend line right here. That's a key entry point. Show you two, right here. Bam, when this boy touched, key entry point. When this boy touched, key entry point. You could have got two good wins right there, just waiting for prices to make it back to the trend line. And here, here's the reason why. This trend line is acting as resistance when we're going short. Okay, this is, it's, it's an angled resistance. Most time you think of resistance as, you know, horizontal lines, but once the market starts trending, you know, the resistance is angled. If we were going up, the support would be angled. So trend lines are just angled support and resistance. And so you also could look at this like this. This is perfect price action too, might I add. Trend down, trend break, retest the new low. Perfect price action. Now we, we may start pushing up, but you don't wanna go. You wanna wait like, like it's tempting I mean, I would buy here if anything, but really that's kind of trend trading. We're obviously in a downtrend, all right? So I will wait till prices got back up to here and see if we get like a second entry short, a higher low, something else to keep going with this trend. But to be totally honest with you, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do anything at this point because let me tell you why, because another key entry point has already played out. So. For those who don't know, another way that you can determine some key entry points is by using Fibonacci retracement. Let me show you how. So if you first notice, we got this big trend down here, trend down, trend break, retest basically. So if you used to put a Fibonacci tool on that, so this is the second way to find a key entry point. This is a this and this is a little different than just using 21 EMA. Your setup would have been something like this, right? And we would have been looking for a 50% 618 retracement. Because this is the normal area where prices will turn to continue a trend. All right. So the 50% 618, what I call the sweet spot zone, is also a key entry point right if you're swing trading so if you're swing trading and prices and you draw fear from a good trend down when prices make it back in this area now you're looking for ways to enter the market to go short and you got this strong push-up you're not you're, you're you're typically not thinking to go short i am though because i understand how prices move this is nothing but a huge market cycle look at it and it's beautiful this thing is beautiful look at this market cycle i'm gonna draw for you trend down trend break retest to new low that is a classic <laughs> perfect price action market cycle okay for those who don't know what the market cycle is it's you'll get a trend down trend break retest to new low and it, it works the same way going up it'd be a trend up trend break retest to new high the market cycle works in both both ways but this was a perfect market cycle down trend down trend break retest the new low i mean and, and this is how the market moves people so the market moves like this all the time so when i'm looking at a price chart 
I understand that when we get into this zone, this is a key entry point for me. And then I'm looking for key entries, right? And so here, there's, there's, there's a bunch, I mean, on this boy, on this boy. Um, because I'm looking for shorts, here's a high, push down, lower high. The next hit the candle does out, but when I see this falling hammer here, go time, right? If you don't like that one, when I see this one here, go time. You can go short there, right? Now look, notice something, notice something here. You don't do nothing here, why? We're too far away from the main key entry point, which is the sweet spot. We're also too far away from the EMA. So you wait, you wait. This is where patience comes in in your trading. But if you wait for the pullback, then what happens? Bam, we, we get right to the golden ratio again, which is what the 618 level represents. And you get another hammer. Bam, you can go there. Hey, if you don't like that one, wait a second. Bam, you get another one. Now you're off to the races. This time we break under the EMA and can't come back, right? So it, the, either one of these entries would have worked. Either one of these entries would have worked. And then again, I say, you don't go here. We're too far away from the 21 EMA, which is a great entry point, all right? But if you wait for it to come back to it, here, we bounce right off the 21 EMA. You kind of can see this as a push up, uh, first entry, push up, second entry short. You, all can see, you also can see it as a high here, push down, came back, lower high. You go right, you go right there, right off the 21 EMA, strong candle close on this low, you go right there. One, two, three, that's a win, all right? Then you wait, you gotta wait. You can't go right here can't go right here. We're way too far away from the EMA. This one, you don't go on. The signal candle does out, plus it's the first entry. So you got to wait. So yeah, you missed this drop. You're a little upset, but you definitely can't go right here. We're way too far away from a good key entry point, but patience pays off. We come back up to the key entry point. Look at this puppy right here. Huge candle. You can go right there. One, two, three. That's a win. Or if you really disciplined and you wait for the second entry, because this was the first entry, push up first entry push up second entry short right there that boy there is perfect second entry short off of a key entry point one two three there, there you go folks there you go folks then you get you get one last one right here you don't go you don't go here because you're too far away from what a key entry point but if you just had a patience, push up first entry. This is why you don't take first entries. This one would have lost. Push up second entry short, coming back down again. This one is the home run. That basically finished the run, right? And as I was saying, we've had a trend down, trend break, retest new low. Now look at what prices are doing. We're going higher, going higher. Now we have to make a market cycle going up. We're probably gonna get a, uh, from here, we're probably gonna get a trend up trend break retest the new high i don't know how high it's gonna go but that's the market that's how the market moves and so for you as a trader you have to determine which way the market is moving you have to find key entry points either by using the 21 ema using trend lines or understanding fibonacci retracement zones all of those three factors will help you enter at the absolute best spots on a price chart all right so that's the lesson for today i hope you guys enjoyed it hey use the 21 ema don't enter when it's away from the moving average enter when prices are bouncing off the moving average okay if you're using the fibonacci tool for swing trades then you know find a good trend find a 50 percent 618 zone when prices get there take the trade with no hesitation you know what i'm saying wait for a setup and then enter the market just like that so if you just follow these simple rules um, use trend lines use 21 EMA use Fibonacci retracement zones to find key entry points on a price chart this will greatly improve <laughs> greatly improve your trading percentage because one last let me throw one last jab at indicators because indicators are late you know, by the time this trend is happening, the indica indicator is going to tell you to enter down here because it's they're lagging. But the run is already over. The run is already over. So by the time that indicator get, tells you to enter, now you're caught in this. When well, you could just be reading the chart yourself with by looking at it 
and know that you want to break for a creek entry point and enter when you see a nice beautiful signal candle like here is that's the difference that's the difference between using a whole bunch of indicators and using 121 ema that that's kind of what it boils down to all right so that's gonna wrap it up for me this is a great time to like share and subscribe hopefully hope you guys enjoyed this one look for key entry points if you're not at a key entry point you don't have a trade if you're if you get to the key entry point and you don't have a setup a price action setup you don't have a trade if you get to a key entry point and you get a price action setup and a beautiful signal candle you now have a high probability trade all right so i'm sign off with that my name is jd and as always i wish you increase on the sudden bye-bye i have more gems to share check out this video right here